one here back with another Splinterlands video. So right now, if you notice, I'm on my Hawks Gaming alt account. And that is because I recently sent a bunch of cards from my main Hawks 21 account to this account for the purpose of renting them out. Um, you know, there's been a couple automated renters pop up recently and I gave uh, Splinter Rent a try. And I really, really love the service. Um, and so I wanted to, you know, this account's actually been through a lot. At first it was a grind account. Then I sort of, when they switched the reward system, I used it as a full rental count to kind of, I guess, farm rewards for the lack of a better way to put it. Um, but you know, with the recent changes, it being a little less profitable to do that, it's kind of just been a ghost account. But now I have another purpose for it. You know, ultimately, I eventually want to turn this into a silver account, but I don't have the assets uh, to do that yet. But on my way there, I'm going to use this as a rental account, and I'm going to automate that using splinter rents. Basically, what I did was send a bunch of cards, you know, a bunch of duplicate gold foils, some cards I basically never use but don't really want to sell. Um, you know, here's the two recent gold foil legendaries that I pulled. You know, I don't want to really sell these right now. Eventually, they'll be very useful to use on a silver deck, but they can earn me some rental income instead of sort of just wasting away on my Hawks account, my main Hawks 21 account. But this video is going to be all about Splinter Rents. Um, but before we get into that, I am Hawks21. I make Splinterlands content almost every single day. And if you enjoy the game or like my videos, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. We're building a really great community here. And I would love to keep that going. All right. So there's a couple options for automated renters, but I like Splinter Rents. It is housed solely in Discord. It only takes a 5% fee and the results seem to outperform, at least from what I've seen, and I've only tested it for like a couple days, um, but they seem to outperform the other options out there. Um, so lower fee and slightly better performance, which is why I like using Splinter Rents. And I'm gonna walk through the process of how to set up an account. So the first thing is it is a Discord. There's no website that I know of. It's all run through Discord. So basically, you're going to come here and I'm going to put an invite link in the description of the video. So it'll be really easy to come here. And there's all this information. So you should check out the FAQ before starting, the onboarding, and the FAQ after starting. We'll walk through some of the stuff here. All you need to have to use this service is a Splinterlands account slash a Hive account at least one card and some high po hive power depending on you know how many cards you have you need you'll need a certain amount of hive power because basically what they're going to be doing is renting out these cards your cards automatically for you so you don't have to go in they're going to be adjusting the prices you know they'll be they'll be doing all of that in the background you don't need to check it you don't need to spend any time doing it and you'll just be collecting the DEC and you're paying them a 5% fee uh, for the, them doing all of that work for you. If you notice here, a Splinterland spellbook is not necessary. So you can start an account, put zero dollars into it, and I would suggest doing this with a separate account that's not your main account. It gets a little complicated when you're trying to have them only rent out specific cards and such like that. They do have the settings to be able to do that. It's just easier and it's free to start a new account. Don't need to spend any money and just send cards there and have that be your rental account. That's what I'm doing right now with Hawks Gaming. Anyways, anything else here? We'll get, I'll show you how it all works. Um, you do have to give them posting authority. And you know, I, I know a lot of people are sensitive about doing stuff like that, but just so you know, posting authority, basically the only nefarious thing that they can do is like post the blog for you, right? So I don't think they have any interest in doing that. And you can revoke their posting authority at any time if you do decide that you don't want to use the service or you stop using the service. Um, this basically says what they can do. They can place your cards on the rental market, delegate cards, and combine cards. They don't really, you know, there's, there's nothing they can really do here 
with these three things, um, you know, that would create any problems. I guess the most nefarious thing they could do is delegate cards to one of their own account accounts to play with or something. Um, but even that, you'd be able to go in, revoke their posting authority, and then cancel the delegations. Um, I guess the most annoying thing they would do is go in and combine all of your cards, but I don't know why they would ever want to do that. They're running a business, you know, they don't want sort of negative reviews, obviously. And I've used them. A lot of people have used them. Um, I trust them. And again, nothing really nefarious they can do with the posting code. And I'll show you how to grant that authority as well. And I'll show you how to delegate hive power. Hive power, where did that go? Right here. I'll show you how to delegate hive power because you're going to need it for them to handle the rental transactions. Anything else here? So yeah, just going to cost 5%. Uh, I'll show you how that all works. I'll show you how you pay, but basically all you're going to do so here, giving posting authority doesn't give splinter rents the ability to transfer value out of your account. You have to pay them manually and then we'll walk through how to sign up. But first we're going to delegate some power. So here I'm on my Hawks uh, 21, my main account that I sort of post the blogs from. So that has some of my hive. So I have 120 hive power. Oh, I'm going to delegate. It's very easy to do. So I would just type in my Hawks Gaming and then pick how much. We'll just do 20 for now. I don't have a lot of cards on there yet. I can increase or decrease that very easily. So there we go. I have delegated to Hawks Gaming 20 Hive Power. Simple as that. That's all you need to do. Okay, let's go back to the Discord. Quickly go to onboarding. This gives you step by step what you need to do, but I'm going to sort of make that video for you to make it a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to be referring back to this as I do it. And then there's some sort of FAQs after starting. Uh, and we don't need to worry about that yet, but I'll probably come back and cover a little bit of these. All right, so how do you start? When you come to this Discord, you'll see Splinter Ends Bot right here. You're gonna click, message. You're just gonna start with dollar sign, help. That is going to start a separate chat with the Splinter Ends Bot, and it's gonna give you everything you need to know, right? So first I wanna do something here. There's a referral process. If I do referral code, I'll get my referral code here. So basically how this works is you rent out, it rents out your cards for you. It will send you an invoice based on that day's rentals for 5%, uh, for a 5% fee. Once a week, the fee will accumulate. They ask that once a week you go in and you s manually send that amount of DEC to the Splinter Rents Splinterlands account. And that's all you have to do. That's how you pay. If you sign up with my referral code, all it does is that 5% fee you have to pay, I get 5% of that. So you don't get less money. I just get a little bit of more money. So <laughs> I guess I should say a little bit more DEC. So if you're looking for an easy way to support the channel, this is it. All you have to do is type in that number. I will include that in the video description when you're signing up for this. And you know, I'll get a little bit of a trickle from you using this service. So again, easy way to support the channel. Uh, if you're so inclined, it would be really awesome. All right. So let's get into the actual nitty gritty of how you do this. Basically, you're going to start with register. You're going to do dollar sign register you don't have to put anything else and then you just put my referral code if you wanted to use it that's it register referral code I don't think it's gonna let me register yeah see Hawks 21 is already registered but if it if you weren't registered it would say you have successfully registered then you come to the next part Add account name. 
So you just need to add it into their system. This is your Splinterlands account, right? So now I'm doing Hawks Gaming. I've already put in Hawks 21. Now I need to uh, activate, not activate, I need to add Hawks Gaming. Hmm. Oh, whoops, I forgot to do add. Sorry. Add Hawks Gaming. There we go. A new Hive account, Hawks Gaming, is added to my Hawks 21 Discord. I then come up here and then I need to activate the account. And that's going to start the process right away. But first, I have to give posting authority to Splinter Rents. All you're basically going to do to do that is copy this, come up to peak D. I have to switch users. Please wait one second. Then here, this is the this is on the my blog thing. So you go up here, click my blog, account actions, keys and permissions, authorities. This add new authority role. This is important. Make sure it's just posting. If you give them your active key, that's when they can do anything. Which again, I don't think they'll do anything. Uh, but you want to make sure you do posting. Recipient account, splinter rents. Confirm. Confirm. Successfully gave. Perfect. I think if I if I go back here down, the next step is to do activate. And this will start the process. So if I do activate Pox Gaming. you will see rental service for Hawks Gaming is activated. And that's basically it. I have now registered this Splinterlands account to have Splinter Rents automatically rent out these cards for me. It'll take some time for these all to get listed. But one thing you can do to speed up the process, if I come here to Splinter Rents, FAQ after starting, these are all great questions to have. So there's a function here called update that you can use about, I think three times a 24 hour period. Um, oh, sorry, you can update three times every three hours. So it's even better than that. So here, after updating, your new cards will be listed within five minutes. Basically, if you send yourself cards, they take a 12 hour snapshot of your account for any new cards or any leveled up cards or anything like that. If you send a bunch of cards to your account and you want it to update right away, you have to just come here. I'll use one of my updates because I don't really plan on updating it a lot. And then just do update. I believe it's just Hawks Gaming. I'll scroll up to check that. Yeah, update account name. So we'll be updated soon. So that means within the next five minutes, all of my cards are gonna get posted to be rented. There's a lot of other um, settings here, right? So you can do the time before rental prices are adjusted. So that's basically if your cards aren't rental that rented out every 60 minutes, they're gonna adjust the prices for me. I have it so at, set it this uh, the minimum price. So cards lower then 0.1 DEC won't be listed. Minimum um, RC account, uh, sorry, minimum RC. So track um, transactions will only be executed if my RC is above this threshold in percent. You can set up time. So like if I manual, manually cancel a card to be rented, three hours. Uh, right now that is set up, the bot's going to ignore that card for three hours. You can make this longer, you can make this shorter. Um, you can set up, this is what I was talking about where it's a little confusing. You can include and exclude certain cards. You have to like download and excel from them. I haven't done this. Highly suggest just make a separate account. And then basically at the end of every 24 hour period, you are going to get a message from this bot. Let me find one. Again, I tested this a while back. 
you are going to get a message. Here we go. Your revenue in the last 24 hours made me 1500 DEC in 24 hours. I was just testing it with a small amount of cards. Your fee, 74 DEC. You can pay your total balance due by sending DEC to the account splinter rents. This can be done in game. Uh, I did it in game or these other fashions. But all I did was send 74 DEC to splinter rents and that was it. Very, very easy. Let's see if it might be worth waiting around to see if these get rented. So let me go to Peak Monsters real quick. Let me go to Switch Account. X Gaming. I was looking at summoner prices to see if it's worth uh, buying them. So yeah, it's going to take a while, but basically these are all going to get automatically rented and they'll be adjusted. Um, from this Discord bot, it'll send me a message at the end of the 24 hours like this. I send them DEC and that's it. Totally hands off renting. I don't need to go in and adjust constantly. They're doing that for me. And I can just keep sending this account cards um, and Splinter Rents will keep renting them for me. So it's a great place, you know, with the decreased collection power that exists uh, to get into the higher leagues in Modern. You know, a lot of people probably have some excess cards that just sit on their account unused that they were using for collection power. And this is now a great service you can use to rent them out. So again, very easy to set up. Go back, watch this video. Use my referral code if you feel so inclined. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions about this service, um, you know, please feel free to leave a comment on this video and I will answer it as quickly and succinctly as I can. You know, I hope this sort of made the process pretty easy and easy to understand, um, you know, but obviously people are going to have questions. This is the service I like to use and I'm going to use moving forward and I'll provide some updates on how it's going. All right, that's it for this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, it'd be awesome if you can like and subscribe. Hope you're enjoying the game and I will talk to you guys soon.